Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to show you how to replace uh, the screen on a Acer Aspire 7740G-6969 and I'm sure this procedure might work for other um, laptops uh, like uh, with the same series so uh, what I'm going to be using here will be a Philips uh, a screwdriver which is this one here and also one of the just flat head uh, screwdriver just a normal small one now first thing what I'm gonna do is um, um, we have to remove the uh, screws that are holding the bezel in the front uh, on this specific laptop it has uh, six screws there's four on the top one here two three four and there's two in the bottom one on each corner one is here and one is here uh, usually these screws are covered with the rubber bumpers which is this one here this one this one uh, and this laptop because it's an old one the rubber bumper is missing from this other three screws the rubber bumpers basically just with the flathead uh, screwdriver you can remove them very easily for all six screws and we'll use the Phillips head uh, screwdriver to open the screws okay same with this one here as you can see they're coming out very easily and then you can start from here just easily put your fingers underneath the bezel and gently pull it out okay so this side's already out so the bottom pull it around So now that all around it's uh, the bezel is open, you just gotta be careful here around the hinges. Just pull it out a little bit, and with the screwdriver, just put it on one side a little bit and push it up. It will come off. Same thing with the other side. Just underneath here, and just gently lift it up. It will come off very easy. There you go. We'll put this on the side. Now what we need to do is to remove the screen. For the screen itself, uh, it has uh, four uh, screws. There's one here and one here, and same on the other side here and here. That's holding the screen itself to the to the bracket here. Again, they they like very easy to open. Just make sure don't lose them. Those screws are like uh, small. They're all same size screws, these four on the side, so it doesn't matter which screw you put where. Okay, so there you go. I got the four screws out. Okay, now the screen is loose. So you can see. So, and this bottom here, that's the this cable for the screen, and it has a taped to the screen so that it doesn't come off basically what you need to do is just remove the tape gently remove the tape and pull the the cable there you go so now I got my old screen out so after we remove the old screen we'll grab our new screen I actually have a, a brand new Samsung a screen that I got from uh, laptopscreens.com and grab your cable make sure this is nicely put in place because uh, you don't want to go through the whole process and remove it again so cable is the same way we removed it you put in the same spot okay so make sure it's all in and reattach the tape to hold it in place you don't want it to come off after you install the whole thing so 
and what we're gonna do just put the cables the way they are okay. we haven't removed nothing else so we'll put the string back on okay and now we'll start putting the end screws on the side doesn't matter again which screw you start with just uh, don't use too much pressure with this thing like you gotta be gentle you don't want to crack the screen and my last screw on the bottom yeah. now I I can tie this up make sure it's tight this one make sure it's tight same with the other side make sure they're tight nice beautiful okay now everything looks okay we have to put the front bezel again same way same way we removed it we'll put it back on From the bottom press uh, where the hinges are put it nice and tight just in place press it down and then you can start going around just make sure first it's all nice in place and you can start pressing all around you'll hear like the clicking or the clips to lock okay when it's all nice uh, clicked in tight then you will start putting this the elastic screws back on Again, it doesn't matter which screw you put first, just I'll put this one here first. A second screw here. Again, gentle, don't use too much pressure. So, this screw here. And I got one screw left over, which is for the, this part here. And last thing you'll be using is the rubber bumpers if you still have them around you just gotta make sure wipe the clean the screen because you know with the touch of the hands and stuff so that's it this is done and you can connect your power and start your laptop to check it to make sure there you go it's powering on.